Hi, my name is Bob Royer and I'm president of BHA Piano Center. I'm a piano dealer in Dayton, Ohio. I've been here for 35 years. My dad uh, started the store in 1949. He's 88. Uh, but I want to tell you for this practice, for the this video is the difference between promotional and premium grade baby grand pianos. So a five foot one was the first patent on a baby grand. Hugo Sommer in 1884 uh, received this patent. Uh, he won the accolades of uh, the Paris Exposition and it was a very well built piano. Um, he said he needed a project for his house because his baby girl was sick is how I always heard the story of why they called it baby grand. But plus or minus a couple inches of let's say five foot measured from the back to the front um, is a baby grand. Six foot is a grand piano. Seven foot is a semi-concert grand. Nine foot is a concert grand plus or minus a couple inches. So what I want to show you is what a premium grade piano is and why it's this is confusing is that some of the best known pianos which you'll see shortly they make both premium grade and promotional grade pianos and the promotional ones are just less expensive built and you're not going to fall in love with the piano and you'll, you'll see what I mean. This is a five foot four Highland. You probably haven't heard of the piano company, but it's very good. It's a hand built Asian piano. Uh, it doesn't matter that it's mahogany. I've got ones in black. And incidentally, if you want to hear see live videos of all the pianos, our website's www.pianocenter.com, and I go into detail about all these pianos and how well they're built, and we have people playing the pianos that really can play. And you'll see it. So when I first look at the exterior of a piano, it gives you an idea if the piano company has cheated a little bit, I say, meaning this has a double caster, which is twice the size of a normal caster. This has a bigger, stronger leg. This has a close, slow, close fall board. This is called a lid prop. It's a little bigger. Um, this cast iron plate, and that's what holds the tension of the strings, which is around 18 tons or 36,000 pounds of pressure. You want a bigger cast iron plate, something not smaller. But for the layman, you want to see this, this silver or this metal bar right here is called an aliquot bar and it creates an overtone. Steinway invented it in the 1880s. So when I hit a note, the hammer strikes the string, the string vibrates this bridge, the bridge vibrates the soundboard, this is the big sound part here, but this creates the overtone, which is so important. So you can hear without even really playing it very hard. You hear that clear, wonderful singing, ringing, clear overtone and harmonic. Okay, the next thing I do, so all premium grade pianos have that aliquot bar. Every piano in the world that makes a premium grade has that. It's the baby grand pianos that, or the promotional pianos that won't have that. Now with that being said, it's not quite that easy. But if it doesn't have that, you will not get the fullness in the bass. If it has it, they're going to put, the company is going to put a better, denser uh, hammer and strings that's going to give you a bigger sound. So right off the bat, I start pounding on the bass notes. And you want that dark, richer sound. And you want to hear the sound, it doesn't die off. grade piano like this, you know you're going to get a better hammer, better string, better soundboard quality. This underneath here is the main frame, the inner and outer rim. This is the outer rim and underneath here is the combination of the inner and outer rim. So you want, it's a whole total picker, picture, scale design. 
Ones that are premium grade are going to have a wider tail. This is a five foot four wider tail quality piano. Now I'm going to show you a couple other pianos. Hi, so I was a Kawaii dealer for 25 years. This is a promotional piano. This is called a GM10. They make GM series. If you want a premium grade quality uh, Kawaii, you have to get an RX series. RX1 is their smallest premium grade. It's five foot five. Here you've got a a small caster, plain Jane leg, no slow close, real, uh, uh, you know, uh, minuscule whatever, a small lid prop. This is even a shorter piano here. Does it play well? Sure. Kawaii is a great piano line. But when you start breaking it down, that's a single bass string. I can't do anything about that. So they use less quality strings and hammers. no aliquot bar here. So you actually get an inharmonic. As opposed to the clarity, here's a Highland 5-4. Now I'm going to show you an RX Kawaii. So here's an RX-1, which is a premium grade Kawaii. Spade leg, bigger caster, slow close fall board, the build-in lock, and the duplex scale. And this is the ones I really like. Big bass line. Have more of a bigger sound. The problem is that these pianos uh, retail for around $18,000 and they want around $10,000 for them. So they really don't want to tell you that this is the high quality. This is one that you're going to fall in love with because all of a sudden if they explain that to you, you're out of the, you know, you are, the price is too high. And you don't want to hear that, oh, here's a cheaper version. They'll just tell you it's a plainer cabinet. They won't tell you of all the performance level quality. Next, I'm going to show you Yamaha. If you want a Yamaha premium grade piano, you have to look for the model number. It's called a C, which stands for conservatory. This is a big piano. This is C7. Uh, C1 is the first premium grade. It's a five foot three. But here again, you have the slow close, the big spade leg, beer casters, the uh, aliquot bar that gives you that quality of sustaining the better performance level. Here again, you're going to be in the $10,000 price range on sale, which normally, and that's what's probably the piano business, is once you get a premium grade Yamaha or Kawaii, it's way out of the price range of most piano baby grand buyers. Yeah. Hi, so this is a promotional Yamaha piano that they currently make. It's called a GB1, you know, plain leg, the music rack doesn't adjust, the middle pedals is a bass sustain. No duplex scale, no aliquot bar, uh, lid prop, thinner in and outer rim, thinner cast iron plate. It's just not the performance level piano. You've got to get the C1. So here again, the big difference is that if you want to get a premium grade piano, you can buy one if you search for under $6,500. Here's a Weber Baby Grand that's five foot two, and it's a premium grade. Spade leg, double caster, uh, lid prop, a slow, and you have the aliquot bar with the bigger cast iron plate. So if you'd like to call me anytime at 800-595-2535 to find out the real uh, honesty about baby grand pianos and pianos, you can call me up. You can go to our website. We're open seven days a week. But please get a premium grade piano, not a promotional piano. The tuning and the performance level is much higher and you're going to be a lot happier customer. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.